Hi everyone, my name is Christy and welcome to my trying a new makeup product everyday series. So I did not get much sleep last night. So the under eye circles that I have right now are so dark. It looks like I have two black eyes, <laughs> but I think I have the perfect product. So I have the new CoverGirl Outlast Extreme Wear Concealer. It claims full coverage for 24 hours. So on nights where I don't get much sleep, I think this could be exactly what I need. I picked this up at Walmart where it cost about $10 and I got this in the shade Golden Ivory. This is cruelty free and it's even transfer proof, waterproof. It's supposed to be lightweight and I'm very picky with my concealers, but this one sounds awesome. And I'm a big fan of the CoverGirl Outlast line of products, like the Outlast lip color. Incredible, one of my favorite lip products ever. So we are really going to be able to put this to the test and see if it really is full coverage. And so here is how it looks. It is a squeezy tube applicator, which is a little different than what I'm used to with concealers. So I figure I'll try this out in a couple techniques. Sometimes it works best to just apply, blend out the concealer with a finger, and that can give it more of a smooth finish, full coverage finish. So let's just start there. I'm gonna squeeze out a little bit onto my finger. I'm not sure how much I'm going to need. And let's blend this out. It seems like it goes on with some good coverage. I don't know why I applied that with my left hand. I'm not a lefty, so I'm gonna actually switch over to my right hand here to blend it out easier. Yeah, good coverage, easy to blend, and it is looking very smooth on the skin right now. And I would say it has a matte finish. Definitely not full coverage yet. Can still see a lot of my dark circle. So I think a little goes a long way, but hopefully it is buildable to that full coverage. But so just picking up a little bit. It definitely looks like it's going on with enough pigment to be full coverage. I'm blending it a little bit down my cheek and my nose, which I have large pores here on my cheek and where I've applied this concealer over the pores, it looks super smoothing and it really like makes the pores disappear. That is awesome. And I do like how this blends out and applies with my finger. I mean, <laughs> the coverage is, is there. I can just still see a bit of my under eye shadow. There is creasing as well, but I feel like I, it's starting to look a little heavy on the under eye to apply more than this. So, yeah. It's not the most smoothing, hydrating concealer. Yeah, I really feel like I'm not getting that full coverage. Let's go ahead and try it out on the other eye and I'm gonna use the sponge to blend it out after I apply it with my finger a little bit. And maybe that can help it look a little bit more smooth, a little bit more lightweight. This claims to look lightweight on the skin but I'm not finding it to be super lightweight. It does blend out nicely with the sponge. And I feel like I'm pretty much getting like the same amount of coverage by blending it out with the sponge. Sometimes I don't get as much coverage when I blend out with the sponge, but in this case, it seems to be the same. But it is a bummer that with the first layer, it's not giving me as much coverage as I want, that I have to layer it up.
And even though it's in this squeezy tube packaging, it is just like a regular kind of liquid concealer consistency. It's not that thicker concealer consistency that needs to be kind of warmed up in order to blend out. This is already blendable. I do feel like I'm able to get good coverage as I layer it up. But it's definitely not the most natural skin looking finish. It does look a little heavy, a little cakey, but I'm wearing a lot of it. So considering how much I'm wearing, it doesn't look too bad, but it, I am really picky like I was saying, and I just feel like it doesn't look as flattering. Like it's a little bit aging to my under eyes. Like it emphasizes texture there's creasing the lines like I just feel like it makes my under eyes look aged I was really expecting to love this and I mean a dramatic difference in my under eyes but I can't say that I do love it it's not my new go-to concealer it helped I definitely don't have the double black eye <laughs> look anymore but I just feel like I'm not as like comfortable in how my under eyes are looking with this on but if you've tried this out, let me know how it works for you. Everyone's got different skin, different under eye circles, so this could be the perfect product for someone else, but at least now I know. <laughs> and so thank you so much for watching my video today. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you can see the makeup that I try every day. And I will see you tomorrow in my next video.